to 12. Each year in the first half of the dry season, small groups of huichols leave their isolated farmsteads in the Sierra Madre of western Mexico to hunt the psychoactive peyote cactus which grows 250 miles to the northeast in the high desert of San Luis Potosí. Each journey recreates anew the first peyote hunt of ancient times, when the great Maratame Tatiwari, the first shaman, our grandfather, who is fire, led the ancestors to the peyote so that they might find their life, as the witch all say of them and of themselves. For the peyote is at once itself and that which assures life. The maize and the deer. Above all, it is the deer, and its flesh and ape reality, not different from, but extending beyond the reality of their daily lives. In a very real sense, the peyote hunt is a return to origins, to an ancient desert homeland, to a pre-agricultural past when animals, and men and plants were one. On this journey backward in time, the companions become their own ancestors. Shed of their own existence, they achieve that breakthrough in plane from this to the other world, which otherwise is the province only of the Marakami, the shaman. This film records some moments of one such journey in December 1968. The music and sound are those of the participants. The words are adapted from the native tradition dictated by Ramon Medina Silva, who led the hunt as the great Mara Akame Tatewari, our grandfather, the first shaman. Characteristically, it is a blend of that which occurred in ancient times and that which happens today, for there is no clear dividing line between the two. For Ramon's companions, the journey was a sacred pilgrimage to assure the growth of maize, of children, of all nature. For Ramon, it was the pivotal event of his life. For on this, his fifth journey to the peyote, he reached that distant goal set for him long ago by his own shaman grandfather. To cross that final threshold to the fifth level, and through the consensus of his companions, become himself a Marakami. to the clouds, here where the clouds open and close, we have arrived. To the east, in Virikuta, there on the fifth level, we will cross over. Where the great ones await us, where the deer is, where the peyote is, where the maize is. There we cross over to find our life. It is that one hides the eyes of those who are Matewamete, of those who have never gone to the peyote. Their winds, bad whirlwinds that could blind them, blindfolded, they may walk in safety. Those who have gone before, their sight is not hidden. No danger threatens them, and they are happy, happy to go.
With your power, with the power of your horns, help me to open those doorways. Hold them open so that the companions can cross over in safety. To the first level, to the second, to the third, the fourth, the fifth level, which is Hirikuta. I will lead the companions playing my bow as I go. Look at the heels of the Hikuritamete, the peyote seekers. Thus you will find your way. So I speak to them to give them courage, for it is hard, very hard, this undertaking. Who knows how it shall be? If I do it well, if they receive me, I shall complete this thing. One walks, one rides, it is the same. If one pays heed to those ancient places, it is as it should be done. As one passes where the ancestors walked, one lights a candle. The field of the anthills, the field of the votive goods, the place where the ancient once taught, the field of the footprints, the place of the leftover water, all this one passes. As one goes traveling, it is the arrow which guards us, the arrow of our elder brother Kauyumari, of elder brother Deertail, that one who is dear. Where it is called in the Magues, where it is called the eye of the water, where it is called where the arrow is, all this one passes. One walks until one arrives where there is a lake, where it is called Tate Matinieri, where our mother is. One says to the companions, now we are here in our mother's house. Those mothers who give water, who sustain life. One says, ah, my mothers, how are you? We have come to visit you from afar, suffering from hunger and thirst. One brings the offerings to our mothers, that which one made for the peyote, for the deer, for all those great ones over there in Virikuta. Whatever a companion desires, he asks the mothers. If one wants a child or rain or a calf or maize, one asks the mothers. If one has a new baby, one hands it to the Marakame. The grandfather has named it and now the Marakame names it as it must be done. <laughs> Those gourds with the tobacco of Tatiwari, the great Marat Kame, the companions entrust to him who leads them on this journey. As I tell it to you now, our mothers gave water to those ancient ones as they walked to the peyote, those great ones. They were tired, they were thirsty, they were hungry, they did not feel well, they had walked many days, they could not go on. Our mothers who live in these springs in that lake, they gave water to them. Here they refreshed them. After they had refreshed them, our mothers walked with them. They followed Tatiwari, they followed the great Marat Kame to the peyote. And those women who are our companions, they are our mothers. If once wives or once sisters or once daughters-in-law have made that promise to go to the peyote, it is as if our mothers go walking there. Whatever container one has brought, one fills it. One takes that water home. The companions carry it there to Virikuta. Then they return with it to their ranchos. 
One gives it to our mother, the earth ready for planting. One drinks that sacred water with the ground peyote. One gives some to the rock crystal, the ancestor who guards us, so that he will also not go thirsty. My arrow which hunts the deer over there, my arrow which hunts the peyote over there in Virikuta, there where it is our life. With my arrow, I give it to you. One brings the companions, they are thirsty, they are hungry, they are tired. One makes fun, one laughs, one says, ah, how is it you're so fat? You have eaten well on this journey. One says, ah, you have been drinking your fill of tequila on this journey. But it is not so. They have not been eating. They have not been drinking. They have not had salt. <laughs> Now you may see, behold, Virikuta, where the ancient ones are, those great ones. There, with the help of Tatiwari, we will find our life. And the Matawamite, those new ones, say, Ah, now I have already seen Virikuta. But no, it is still far away. It is hard, that journey, that promise you have made. When one is sick, one asks to be healed. This companion is barren. She wants a child, but it will not come. <coughs> one removes that arrow, that arrow of sickness. The Marakame, with his power, sucks it out. He leaves it there, where our mother is. Is it Emiliano who gives the water of our mothers to Ramon? No, it is Tatutsi, that ancient great-grandfather who gives it to the Marakame Tatiwari. Is it Lupe who walks there, wife of Ramon? No, it is our mother, Utuanaka. <laughs> is it Emilia, daughter of Jose Rios, wife of Crescenciano? No, it is Yuari Mashukuriari, the offering word of the Blue Maze. <laughs> <laughs> 
मास से करानो पैसा कम मास से करानो पैसा कम मास से करूं ताया कम कूटा बड़ा कामाल कम You have led us here, Tatibari. You so powerful with your fire. You have brought us safely here to Brikuta, here to the fifth level. I greet you, you the sacred directions, you the east, you the west, you the north, you the south. You up above and down below. Look, Tatewari, you will not go hungry. The companions have brought you food. As we eat tortillas, so you will eat your green firewood, so that you will have strength to take care of us, to give us good thoughts. We shall be companions until we return. With this food, you will have strength to guard as well as we walk in the patio of our ancestors, in the place of our elder brother, the five-pointed deer, the peyote of five colors. If one wants a calf or whatever one desires, one copies it down. Once a child, one copies it down. One copies it with wax in the offering gourd. One copies it with yarn. See here, I have copied them down. I have copied down the offering gourd. I have copied down the eagle, the deer, the sun, the fire. All these I have copied down. Look, Tatiwari, you are going to stay here, guarding our belongings. Do not go out. You will not go hungry as we go hunting for Elder Brother Wawatsari, the five-pointed deer.
one walks with care. Elder brother is nervous. Elder brother Valazzari is cunning. Look carefully, my companions. Look to see where his horns stick up, where his tail sticks up. pointed deer. Four arrows, four to transfix him well. Our elder brother, we have come happy to your field to meet you here in Virikuta, here on the fifth level, so that you may give us life. With care, I cut the flesh from your roots, from your bones there in the earth. Look, my companions, it rises. His essence, his spirit is rising. It tries to escape, to escape to the top of the mountain. So many colors, like the rainbow. It tries to flee. We shall eat your flesh. We shall eat your body, our elder brother. When we have eaten, you will rise again. You who were killed by my arrows. Companions, take this. It is your life. In this way, you will live and live. Look, Wawatsari, we have brought you these offerings. We know you will be happy to receive them as we are happy to bring them to you. Look, 
Chew it well, my companions, it is strong, it is bitter. No one says, it is sweet, it is delicious. You who have come for the first time, eat well, eat well of our elder brother, so that you will see, so that he will lead you to all those flowers, all that maize here in Virikuta. That is why we sing, we are happy, happy, we have come happy to this field of flowers. of his horns, follow the direction of his tracks. In every direction you will find peyote. Take care, take care, and you will find many pretty flowers and many tender ears of maize. Go search, go search. Elder brother Vavatsari says he has forgiven you for eating his body. He says we will find many flowers here, pretty flowers, in the five sacred colors of the maize. enough, one leaves. One must take all. Why take all if one has enough for one's life? Vavatsari, the principal deer, would hide those flowers forever. He would withdraw them from here. His flowers. One is thoughtful now, quiet, full of thought. One thinks, how will I see my life? One thinks, ah, if our life were always like this, it would be much better. One thinks, 
we have found much, much peyote, enough for the ceremonies, all the ceremonies. <laughs> Who knows, will I return another time here to Virikuta? See here, we have brought these children, these Nunutsi, three Nunutsi we have brought, so that they will know how one goes being Huichol. Eat the peyote, eat all the peyote you can. Eat all night long, my companions. So you will find your life. waiting to see the flower, the beautiful flower of Tatiwari in the center there of the fire. I pray to the four winds, offering all my will, all my affection, all my strength. Who now knows better how to play? It is I who ate the form of the sea. Who now knows better how to play? It is I who ate the form of the sea. Who now knows better how to play? It is I who ate the form of the sea. 
knows better how to think? Who now knows better how to make the designs of yarn? I ate the foam of the sea, the pure foam of the sea. What does one see? You do not speak of it. Not to the companions, not to you, not to anyone does one reveal what one has seen. Let us say farewell now, my companions. Turn the firewood to the west. Turn Tatiwari to the west, so that he will point the way, so that he will lead us to our homes. <laughs> no, the companions say, I do not feel like leaving. Who knows if I shall return? They say, I am already old. I do not feel like going back to my rancho. It is barren there, dry, dry. Here it is green, flowers all over, the hills full of beautiful flowers. Do not weep, brothers. Do not cry. We came knowing we would have to leave. Look, brother-in-law, do not cry, do not be sad. Be happy so that day after tomorrow we will remember this journey. One says to the peyote, tree of our life, remain strong and healthy so that the companions who stayed behind will see you take root, will see you flower. One makes a garland of peyotes to hang on the horns of the deer, the horns of our elder brother who guards us on the journey. I give you the water of our mothers. In the four winds in the center, I give you their water.
Once more, companions, once more let them hear us over there in Virikuta, there on the fifth level. Once more let us greet the great ones, the Kakaya Rishi, as we go bidding them farewell. <laughs> We came to visit you, Kakaya Rishi, to find our life. We live happy, happy to have seen you, to have seen our elder brother. Do not leave. Wait for us here, wait in your fields here in Virikuta, so that we may return in this same time, year after year. When one has come back from Virikuta, one forms a circle to dissolve that bond, the bond of those who followed the Marakami. Tomorrow, or the day after, one arrives at one's house. The relatives are waiting, happy, saying, my brother, my sister, you have come. They say, did you meet our elder brother? Did you bring flowers for us? Yes, one says, my game bags are full. Ah, then we will have our life. We will eat much peyote. We will clear much land. We will eat much squash, much maize. We will go happy, happy laughing together. But here not. Here one is sad, for one is dissolving that bond, that knot which tied the companions. <laughs> To each of the companions one gives of one's own peyote. One goes giving and receiving, giving and receiving, sharing that life, so that one makes a unity. Take that sacred cord, stretch the knotted cord of Eastley of cactus fiber. Between Tatewari it is stretched, between Tatewari who is fire and Tayopa who is the sun. On the back of our elder brother, on the quiver of deer skin, it has its beginning. As it was done when we gathered to form that unity, one passes the sacred string around the circle. One says, take it, Tayaupa, take it, Nunutsi, because the oldest, the old man, is called the Nunutsi, the baby, the youngest, because everything, everything is reversed when one goes to Virikuta. One encircles the companions, each touching the knots which are his brothers so that they will know that this unity is complete.
Then to the other side, the reverse, so that what was done will be undone. As one says, it is the Marakame who does and undoes. Untie yourselves, companions. Untie that knot, the knot that was tied for you when you were new, when you were purified to take the path to Virikuta. Of the peyote one ate in Virikuta, each has preserved a piece to give to Tatibari. A small piece with the fuzz, the little hairs from the crown of its head. A small piece to give to Tatiwari, who showed us the way, who with his light, with his power, brought us back safely. Catete, 
The companions cry, now we leave this unity, if only we could stay together always. Before we crossed over, we did not know anything. It was in order to know, to see, that we went with you. Now we have learned what is our true life. They say, you are already a wise Marakami. You have led us well with your power, with your knowledge, say the companions. <laughs> The companions say, surely next year we will meet again in order to cross over there with your help to find our life there in Virikuta. Lupe says, you have completed yourself, Marakame. Over there, where we found our life, you, my husband, have received yourself. I go now from this unity, Lucas says. Tomorrow and the day after, 
We remain as we are, you and I. Go forth, companions. Bid farewell to Tatiwari, who has guarded us well. For the last time, let him give strength to your sandals. Sound your violins. Sound your guitars. Sound your horns. Sound your sandals so that the relatives will hear us coming. So that they will hear the songs we have brought back from Virikuta. So that they will know that we have found our life. Thank <laughs> you.